This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're at Frederick's Restaurant for Rock Box 3 press conference. With me I've got Peter Fuhrer. How are you Peter? Yeah, good. Good, thank you. Yeah? Good. How's the food here? Alright? Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> Alright, sandwiches and everything. Very nice. Um, change of opponent for, uh, for Tyson. Um, you tweeted that it was, you felt it was a better opponent than the previous one. Is, is that what you feel? Yeah, he's better. I never really looked at the other one, you know, but they've got so many padded records over in Argentina. It doesn't matter if they've had that many fights, you know. This, at least this fella can box. He comes forward, he, he throws um, standard punches. He's a good domestic fighter, mm. at best. 28 wins of these 29 wins have come through way of KO, so Tyson's yeah. got to take some notice of that, surely. Well, they can all bang, can't they? But let's face it, who's he knocked out? You know, he's fought a string of bums as far as I'm concerned. Listen, you know, these guys are there, he's there as a warm up, you know, nothing more. That's how I see him. You know, Tyson, it's like putting a racehorse against a, a farmyard horse, pulling a cart. You know, the difference in world class and domestic fighters is what it is. Look, if you stand there in front of Joey Abel, you knock your face in. You know, that's it. So Tyson's got to use his superior boxing and box the guy, as simple as that. Mm. Um, you've had a training camp in Cairns, I remember speaking to you over the phone uh, while you were out there, but everything went to plan out there? Yeah, you know, he came into camp nearly 22 stone, um, so I've got him down to, I think, he's, un he's under 19.7. <coughs> I can't pull him down anymore because he's, uh, it would affect his strength, so I've got to back him off over the last 10 or 12 days. <coughs> and now he, he's physically strong, but make no mistake, there's no excuses, he is fit. He's fit to go 12 rounds. Obviously, on a world level, he needs to be at his correct weight, which is around 18.7. So, but for a comeback, I'm losing all that weight. So, he's, he's in good shape for this fight. Mm. How motivated would you say Tyson Fury was for this fight? He is motivated. He's, he's happy to get back in the ring. He's happy to be boxing again. So, he's over the moon, to be honest. And, um, you know, he's, he's happy with anyone, Tyson. You never, you never get offered an opponent with Tyson and he'll say, I don't want him, I don't want him. Tyson's just happy to get in and, and, and do the business and want to fight. Do you feel the misery of last year is out of his system? Yeah, I think it is. It's, um, he's, on to, uh, he's on the road now and uh, that's it. We're glad of this fight Saturday. Mm. From there we move on. I know he's got one in April. And um, we'll see what happens with the winner of this. Is it... Uh, affecting but you know the talk of this big Tuzora fight but there's there could be a couple of obstacles in the way is it do you look that far ahead to, towards Tuzora now or, or not no you can't do you know anything can happen in a boxing ring you know Tyson's got to get past Joey Abel you know Joey Abel is capable he's a big guy like I said you know they've all got to get past their opponents but when you're on this level it doesn't really matter who you fight you know if Kevin Johnson beats Chisora then he fights Kevin Johnson it's irrelevant to us, whoever wins. And I know it's irrelevant to Tyson. So it doesn't matter who wins. As long as, we, as long as he gets in the ring, Tyson and fights, and proves where he belongs, that's the main concern. Yeah. Uh, your boy, uh, Huey, fights on the bill as well, so yeah. he'll be looking to pick up where he left off from last year. Well, he'll be doing a lot better than last year, because last year he fought with nothing but illnesses, hand problems, uh, blood infections, viruses you know, being sick after fights, but you know, he's okay for this fight, he's weighing in around 17 and a half stone, 17, 7, he's, a, he's about a stone heavier, you know, he's filling out, he's had plenty of rest, he's not ailing anything, you know, his hands are okay, so like I said, he's, uh, he's fully fit for this fight, and he's really looking forward to it, Yui. so I expect uh, a good, strong display from him. Yeah. Yui's going to be out March the 1st in Bristol as well, I believe, is that right? Yeah, he's on the 1st of March as well. All going well with this one. Yeah, of course. Um, all right, and just how did James Argy get on, Peter, in uh, Cairns? Arge. Yeah, James uh, Argy, yeah. Listen, he's a nice kid and he done very well, actually. He's got yeah. some boxing ability as well, he has. Yeah? Yeah. Do you feel like you implemented your knowledge into him slightly out there? He doesn't need my knowledge. He's far superior. There's nothing I could learn uh, James Argy. Well, he's got 1.4 million Twitter followers, so I suppose uh, he's doing something right. There you are. I think we need to learn something from him. Possibly. All right, well, listen, Peter, thanks for talking to you live on TV, and uh, we'll probably catch you at the Wayne tomorrow. You're welcome, Coogan. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you very much. Cheers.